Hello again, Johnny London here once more and as you can see I've cleared my desk which can mean only one thing. Yes, it's time for another review. Now those kind people at Jackery have sent me a little something so without further ado let's have a look and see what it is. Let's get inside. Well, they say bigger is better, and I think this is most definitely going to be the case with this. They've now sent me a 500 watt solar station. So let's have a look and see what that's all about, shall we? So we've got the instructions and the little tagger. I know what this is, that's the accessory pouch. And then we've got the unit itself. So here it is, it's the Jackery Explorer 500. It's what they call a portable solar station and you can charge it via the Jackery solar panel, which I already happen to have, they sent me that last time, or uh, by any other means you like really, because in here they include everything you need. There's a 12 volt cable and a mains adapter, 240 volts in this case. OK, so let's take a look at the unit itself. Oh, yeah. Starting at the top, we've got the charging input. Now to that you can hook up the Jackery solar panel if you're fortunate enough to have one. I do have one because they uh, sent that to me along with when I reviewed the last unit for them. Or you can use the included uh, 12 volt cable or you can use the included mains adapter. So you've got plenty of ways of charging there. Should cover you whatever your situation and that can take about nine and a half hours because there's quite a lot of capacity to this unit. And along the bottom you've got all your outlets. You've got a couple of 12 volt jacks and the usual car type 12 volt socket now this is a good one actually because it's 10 amps and uh, you've got usbs after that three of those at 2.4 amps each and then you've got the uh, mains outlet which again is a pure sine wave output so that will work all your sensitive electronic equipment without any issues now all these things can self consume just a tiny little bit of power so they very thoughtfully included switches on each of the sections so you're not switching the whole unit on or off you're just switching on or off the bit that you need so for example if i switch the 12 volt dc on you can just about see on there that'll go up to one watt and i like that feature with jackery they're being very honest they're saying actually if you switch this off you know the unit is just going to self-consume a tiny little bit so do keep that in mind um, then moving along we've got the same thing with the USB uh, you've got a regulator in there a regulator circuit that will bring in, be bringing all that voltage down to the 5 volts that USB has it's not showing any consumption on that so I sp suspect both of these are very very low indeed really below a watt and uh, then as you come to the end you've got the AC just hear the fan kick in there for a second to blow any dust out of the gubbins which is good and you can see that will settle down to I think about 10 watts 10 12 watts uh, all um, mains inverters will self consume power now the cheap ones the cheap nasty ones that aren't proper sine waves are actually quite good on power they don't self consume as much as a proper sine wave one but this one is a proper sine wave one there that's settled down to seven watts in fact so that's pretty decent now the advantage of a proper sine wave is it's going to power everything and power everything properly so you can put all your electronic components all your sensitive devices on there or anything at all and you know it's going to work perfectly and of course when you're not using using it just turn it off so there it all is there's nothing to see on the back which is how I like it but they have got one extra little feature here look there's a little light you can switch that on I guess you know if you're out camping that just give you a little bit of work light while you're setting up all your gubbins if you've arrived late and it's dark you know obviously thinking of me there or if you hold the button it um, 
goes into this sort of SOS mode, uh, which, you know, I suppose could be useful, couldn't it, if you find yourself in a spot of bother. So to sum up then, here's the Jackery 500. On the left, we have the 12 volt outlets. The USB sockets are in the middle and the AC mains is on the right. At the top of the unit we have the input for charging and the display. There's a handy work stroke emergency light. And there's nothing to see around the back. The Jackery 500 comes complete with mains and 12 volt charging cables and of course the instructions. So there it is, everything you'd expect, everything you'd need and nothing you don't need. It's also come to me at 48% charge which I think is about spot on. Uh, they're best kept at around about 50% over the long term you know for the health of batteries and so obviously they've charged this to 50% in the factory and it's uh, you know reached me at 48% which is fine. So uh, let's now think what we're going to do with this little device to put it through its paces. I think the first thing to do is to get it fully charged. We're well into autumn now and it's maybe not the greatest day for it but there is a bit of sun about so I thought what I'd do is I'll break out the jackery panel and uh, I, as you can see I've just sat that on the top of the roof there, run the cable in through the window and I've got the unit inside to hook up. So uh, the sun actually should arc round to just where I've got this pointing conveniently enough. So uh, what we'll do is we'll leave it like that for a bit and see how we get on. So here we are, the Jackery's all set up for the afternoon. I had plenty of cable, no problem there. And uh, the boxes came in useful as well, didn't they? But I always keep the boxes because I think you have to really. So what I'll do is I'll leave him set up like this for the afternoon and we'll see how we get on. Well, it has to be said, it's a bit of a mixed bag outside today and the sun isn't where it's supposed to be. But I've made the best of things and angled the Jackery solar panel around to suit. By early evening, we're up to 72% charge. Well, it's not been much of a day out there. Pretty grim, pretty cloudy. The sun did poke its head out for a little while and uh, the Jackery actually did make 24% charge on the day, uh, which is about 10 amps. So I'm not unimpressed with that, but it just so happens that now I've got to run the engine because I need to run the dishwasher. So I need full mains power for that, a couple of kilowatts actually. And I've plugged the Jackery into one of the uh, 12 volt sockets on the boat and it can just sort of drink a little bit of the surplus power uh, while the engine's running and this is going on. So uh, let's get on with that and see how we do. Here's where I plugged in a minute ago. And here's the Jackery lapping up the power. I set the engine to about 1200 RPM. The Jackery draws its maximum power, around 80 watts. And by the time the dishwashers run, it's up to 81%. Not bad. The following day, I use my solar array to finish off charging. There we go. The Jackery draws my attention to the fact that it is fully charged, but it won't do any harm to leave it connected. It's perfectly safe to charge unattended. 
Now, I really want to put this Jackery through its paces and I did notice that in the instructions they claim that it can run a fridge. Now, I've got a fridge right here. It's my boat fridge freezer actually and although it's 12 volts it still takes a hefty amount of power. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of a rejig with the connections around the back there and I'm going to hook the jackery up to it I'm going to run it overnight and I'm going to see how it gets on. Sometime later after a bit of a think and a good rummage through my electronics box I've managed to come up with this. Right, well, it might look like a bit of a bird's nest behind me, uh, but I can assure you this, it's all been properly thought through. What I've done is I've taken the 12 volt power supply from the boat uh, that runs the fridge, because my fridge is a 12 volt fridge, and I've put it through a relay. Now, in normal circumstances, nothing will happen. The 12 volts will go through the relay and power the fridge from the boat. Uh, 12 volts just as normal but as soon as I plug the jackery in and switch on the 12 volt socket as soon as that relay knows that 12 volts is coming from the connection from the jackery the fridge will start running from the jackery and not from the boat 12 volts now my house batteries are completely knackered and uh, they usually sort of conk out at about half eight nine o'clock in the evening as far as running the fridge goes um, so when that happens I'll kick the jackery in and I'll be able to sort of see exactly what time I switch it on from until overnight you know next morning and I'll be able to see exactly how much power it uh, uses and how it all works out and I'll be able to report back to you so it should be a good old test for this little thing um, I will tidy up a bit though, don't worry about that. I'll put it all back nice and neat so we don't have to look at the wires and uh, we'll have another look tomorrow uh, when I've done that overnight test. The freezer is full of stuff and so is the fridge so I'm really hoping that the jackery isn't going to let me down. As you can see it really is a decent sized fridge freezer and I've tidied up and place the jackery all ready to go. It turns out to be cold and dark quite early tonight so I have to enlist the help of the jackery a little earlier than expected. Looks like the fridge is going to take around 60 watts when the compressor is running but that should be only about 30% of the time. I settle down for a relaxing evening. It's thirsty work all this filming. The following morning I'm up bright and early. Well perhaps not that early and not all that bright either. But I'm eager to check on the jackery. I can see that it only used about 45% of its charge around 230 watts in the 15 and a half hours that it's been on. So I switch off, unplug and let the solar run the fridge now. And I check the temperature to make sure that all is well in the beer department. Perfect. I was quite surprised to find uh, this morning that the jackery had only used 45% uh, of its charge up. I would have expected the fridge to have taken a bit more than that. Um, but last night it was quite a cold evening and the ambient temperature inside the boat was quite low. I suspect obviously in the summer when it's a very hot night then the power consumption of the fridge would be greater and it would take more accordingly. Um, but then of course in the summer you've got uh, longer days and shorter nights so it all balances out really. Um, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to put the jackery back on charge now and uh, use it again tonight. Here they are together just for comparison. Well, it's not a bad old evening, if a bit chilly, uh, so I thought I'd come out here onto the stern deck for my summing up chat. Still got the old shorts on yet, only mid-October. Uh, I must apologise also if you can hear any banging and crashing. Uh, I think I'm next to a scrap metal merchant and they're having a final clear out by the sounds of it. Uh, but anyway, the point is, uh, I just want to sum up about what I've got to say about the Jackery 500. Now, I know that some of you are going to say, oh, it's just another boater cashing in, you know, but um, with winter on the way, when you're on a boat, 
uh, you need every bit of power that you can get your hands on. So for me, this is a great thing to have aboard. Uh, I particularly like the different ways that you can charge it, and that means that I'll be using mine by charging it off the 12 volt sockets within the boat for most of the winter when the weather's bad. And uh, obviously my 12 volt sockets are connected to uh, an 1100 watt array of solar that I've got on my roof. The Jackery only takes 80 watts. Uh, it never charges at more than that, uh, obviously because it's trying to look after its batteries inside. Uh, so I can always spare 80 watts, even on a pretty gloomy day. So it's just like an extra thing and it just sits there doing its job and that's great. Now, as some of you may know, I need to get my batteries changed. Uh, it's something I've been meaning to do for months now, but I've been busy getting on with other stuff on the boat. And I'm due to go into the boatyard soon to get the boat blacked. So I think that'll be the time to do all that. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be relying on one of my jackeries to uh, do all my TV and media duties, my entertainment of an evening, which I need, obviously. And uh, this new jackery, the new more powerful jackery, the 500, I'm going to carry on using that on the fridge and uh, that means I can still do a weekly shop, chuck a load of stuff in the fridge and freezer and you know keep that all nice and chilled overnight um, and then obviously the solar power will come on during the daytime and take up the slack and recharge the jackery so it's, it's already going to you know earn its keep by uh, tidying me over until I get my main house batteries fixed and I think even when that's done these jackeries they're still great things to have around you know keep them in the cupboard for emergencies and uh, you know if I get to the boat one night and something happened something's happened all the fuses are blown on the normal power or you know it's just failed to charge or gone flat or something like that then uh, I can always pull one of those out of the cupboard and uh, hello and uh, I can always uh, just pull one of those out of the cupboard and uh, you know got enough power for the evening again have a look at whatever the problem is the following day so what I'm gonna say is um, it's, it's you know I mean what can I tell you some people are never happy are they but for me it's a great thing to have about I'm very pleased uh, with it thank you very much Jackery for sending it to me and uh, as you can see I'm getting plenty of good use out of it already